Now we have come to Sula. Very flavorful. They wear budlia. Spiciness on the garlic chutney. Sula is India's oldest winery. Mango chicken fry. Very good. Very unique spices to that region. We uh, actually lower the temperature. Let's go inside. Welcome to Gourmet Mayang. In this food tour, we'll be exploring wine capital of India, Nashik. Nashik has India's first winery. Situated on the banks of river Godavari, Sula Winery or Sula Vineyards has this sprawling campus where you get to experience not just wine tasting but also wine making process. After Sula Vineyards, we'll be exploring Maharashtrian cuisine which has influence of Nashik region. So we'll be exploring three places one place for snacks, one place for non-vegetarian food, and one place for thali. So for snacks, we'll be exploring Kadi Samosa at Shri Mauli. Now Shri Mauli has this unique recipe in which they make Kadi and Samosa and give it as a chart option. It's very tasty, we have heard about it a lot. So we'll be exploring that aspect. For authentic Maharashtrian non-vegetarian cuisine, especially mutton, we'll be going to a place called Devte Budlaya, where mutton and chicken dishes are cooked in authentic Nashik style. So that will be one of our stops. And finally, we'll be exploring Maharashtrian non-vegetarian thali at a Taj property called Gateway Hotel. The restaurant's name is Pancharatna and we'll be going there, we'll be exploring that thali, again non-vegetarian and vegetarian options in it, cooked in Nashik style. So that will be another stop of ours. So we started driving from Mumbai to Nashik and on the way we have stopped at Igatpuri. It's a beautiful hill station to visit, it's a weekend getaway for Mumbaikers. So in Igatpuri, we have stopped at Vipashna Meditation Center and it's not just any meditation center, it's a it's headquarters of Vipashna Meditation Program which is run across the world. So behind me you can see Myanmar gate, this is the gate through which you can enter this headquarter. Um, then there is a proper meditation area where people are not allowed to go because only students can go there and there are students who are meditating so they shouldn't feel any disturbance that's why the tourists are not allowed to go inside but you can definitely stop at a museum which shows the life of Gautam Buddha so this is Vipashna headquarters uh, in India let's go and explore Nashik now we have come to Sula it's the abode of grapes wine and everything about grapes situated on the banks of river Godavari and just behind in western ghats this place gives you an exquisite experience of wine tasting wine tour wine making sula is india's oldest winery they have been making wine since 1999 they came to nashik uh, during that time and set up this place as a wine making place. Now it's India's leading wine producer and a lot of, a lot of grape cultivation happens in this area. So we have come here for wine tasting. They have a wine tasting tour and we'll be exploring how the wine is made and then we'll taste it also. So let's go inside and taste the wine. So there are five places uh, in this wine tasting tour which they take us. 
the first place is the movie room where they show us a movie where it introduces us to the farm by Rajiv Saman. So this is the first room where we enter. Uh, this room, they show us a, over, uh, a video. You can see the projector screen behind me. In this video, they give an overview of the entire solar ecosystem. It includes the vineyards, it includes the winery, it includes the stay, the experience, the tourism parts. And they introduce the entrepreneur to us in this video. So very excited about this uh, step. Uh, let's go and watch it. The wine making process begins in our vineyards, where the grapes are harvested and we have the absolute perfect level of This is a colonist who finally made wine and continues to craft extraordinary experiences around the world. Uh, the second place is the crushing zone where they show the, how the grapes are crushed. Now, uh, what kind of grapes are chosen for wine? It's different from table grapes which we eat in our homes. So grapes for wine are actually, uh, uh, they have seeds inside them and their skin is also a little thicker. Now, uh, when the crushing happens, the three parts uh, of the grape, uh, the grape gets divided into three parts. So the first part is the skin. Uh, that skin is crushed and it's uh, taken out as a residue and is used as a fertilizer in the same grape farms. The second is the grape seed, which is used to actually extract grape seed oil. And Sola is the only uh, company in India which actually extracts uh, grape seed oil. And the third one is the uh, juice, which comes out of the grape, which is used for the fermentation part uh, or the wine making part. Third is the fermentation zone, where how the fermentation is done, the place where the fermentation happens. So here the yeast uh, is actually put inside the grapes. Now yeast is, uh, it gets alive under some temperature and uh, humidity conditions and it when it gets in touch with sugar so grapes have sugar so this yeast gets activated and uh, that's how the fermentation starts happening and ranging from different varieties of grapes and different uh, varieties of wine these this fermentation goes on for a uh, couple of weeks to even month during the process of fermentation itself you can either convert the wine into a still wine or a sparkling wine now how, do, how does that happen if you so during fermentation co2 is formed apart from the alcohol co2 is also formed now if you allow to escape that co2 then you get a still wine right you don't see any bubbles when you drink it it's a still wine but when you try to ferment it in a compressed steel container then it's a uh, it's a sparkling wine and that's how we get bubbles inside the sparkling wine that's the co2 and that gives it a very distinct uh, refreshing flavor to the sparkling wine so in order to stop the fermentation uh, they uh, actually lower the temperature under five degrees celsius and that's how uh, the yeast dies and settle down and the wine which is fermented wine is extracted and it is transferred to barrels fourth is the uh, aging zone where the wine is kept in barrels and is aged. This is the storage room, this is the barrel room uh, where they store the wine for aging in these barrels, in these drums. These barrels are imported from France. So uh, they have, uh, there is a specific wood which is used to make these barrels and then these are toasted also to extract the flavors from the wine. So these are not just like normal wooden barrels. Uh, they are toasted barrels to age the wine. So this is the room where wine is kept in these drums for aging purpose and the temperature is maintained under 5 degrees Celsius. So it is it's written US empty and TH. US means it has come from US. Empty means it's medium toasted 
and TH means it's stop red. And the last one is the uh, tasting room where actually we get to taste different. In fact, six varieties of wine. Something about our first wine as well, you have to have 15th anniversary. So let's move on to our maximum aged wine. The name of our maximum aged wine is Rasa Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is your king of black grapes. This is our wine wine. So when you look at the color, 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 So after the tasting, we had come to a tasting room restaurant. So if you were unsatisfied from the tasting and you wanted more wine because you liked it, then you can come to tasting room restaurant. Now you can have wine here, because all the Sula wines are available. You can have as much as you want. Also they have dishes which have wine flavors inside it. For example, they have a pizza called chicken fiesta. We have ordered that. That pizza has chicken chunks which were poked in wine. So everything about here is warm wine. I hope I go to the washroom and they don't have a they don't have wine in soap dispenser. Hopefully. So our pizza has arrived, chicken fiesta, which has chicken, which has chicken, poked in wine, and we'll taste it. Little bit of grapey flavor in the chicken, unique. Very unique. Well, it's not like something which you can call it. Oh wow, what I've tasted! It's a very unique taste. And of course, when you are in this world of grapes, having something like this really cheers you up and satisfies your satisfies your palate. So good experience. So this is it from our Sula tour uh, must experience this tour it's a very nice immersive experience especially the uh, wine making process which they share and the passion which they make their wines and that's why they want to share this with everyone they want to share their excitement uh, with everyone and that's what makes Sula very special and last but not the least, what do you think Sula means? Well, it was name of the founder's mother and the first four letters of her name were S-U-L-A and that's how the name Sula came. Another thing, what do you think Rasa is, the Rasa wine which they serve? Well, again, the founder's name is Rajiv Saman Zware Essay.
So we have come to this place uh, called Devya Budlia. Now this place is very famous for non-vegetarian cuisine, which is very authentic to Nashi. Uh, they serve mutton options, uh, they have chicken options, and they serve the way it was made. It's made in rural uh, Nashik homes. Uh, so we have ordered two dishes. The one is chicken fry. Uh, one is chicken made in a thick brown masala. And second is mutton keema. Uh, mutton keema is a minced meat dish. Uh, so we have. Uh, let's see how it turns out to be. ये सूप पाय सूप ये पेटला हाँ पेटला ये क्या दाल 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 तो बस ये शो बाजी बनियाम थी मांगी शो बाजी अच्छा ये बैंगन मांगी है और ये आम थी ये कीमा कीमा अच्छा कीमा बटर नहीं है तो आम थी दाल को ही बोलते हैं ना आम थी नहीं आम थी रसा रहता है इसका पत्ता ही अच्छा आम थी रसा ये थोड़ा मीठा रहता है ना नहीं नहीं तीखा है so here comes our food this is chicken fry like thick brown gravy this is mutton keema some minced mutton dish and then it's served with bajra roti or bajra bhakri so it's bajra is a kind of millet and this chapati this bread is made out of that millet Firstly, we will try chicken fry with bajra bhakri or bajra roti. All the brown masala in which it's made. I think there is a spice in Nashi and in Maharashtra, which I don't know, which gives this distinct flavor to these Maharashtra dishes. I think I need to explore that spice. Well, this gives a very distinct taste to all these recipes in Maharashtra. Coming to chicken fry, very good. Chicken is very well cooked in that masala, or fried in that masala. That's why chicken fry. Now we will try keema. So this is keema. Keema is very good. Very good taste of mutton and these distinct spices of Maharashtra it makes this keema a must have. Have it with onion, raw onion, and nowadays make. Amazing. You know, it's very difficult for restaurants to operate on authentic cuisine because people are generally used to tastes in village. Uh, people are generally used to the authentic taste. And what if your restaurant is not able to match an authentic taste? So that's why it's very difficult to run a restaurant like this. Kudos to the owner. Kudos to the team. So we had a meal at the Vyabodlia. If you are looking for authentic Nashik style non-vegetarian food, especially mutton, then this is the place to be. They have uh, designed their recipes with very distinct and authentic spices, and that's what makes this place very special. And they have worked on the interiors as well. Although not that good interiors, but still good enough to give you a vibe of a rural Nashik uh, Maharashtrian home. 
and well taste matters the most so that taste can cover for the interiors but really nice authentic experience so this is it from our side now we have come to this place shri mauli kadi samosa now this place serves samosa with kadi kadi is yogurt based or buttermilk based uh, curry and that's how its names come so there is no place no proper place to sit although there is a some place to sit but we preferred eating in our car and this has particularly four things one is the samosa samosa is an indian snack uh, second is the save over it save is like a, uh, another snack used for garnishing then it has garlic chutney the red one which you can see and then there is kadi so basically this is quite famous in nashik and it's only available in nashik and that's why we are here uh, trying this out so this is our kadi samosa you have taken all the bits the samosa the kadi and the garlic chutney save is missing a little bit very flavorful the crunchiness of the samosa mixed with the spiciness of the garlic chutney and sourness of the curry makes it a very good combination of all the flavors must try very very refreshing and your mouth will have a lot of flavors at once and uh, that's what makes this very special and that's why it's very famous so shri mauli kadi samosa now we have come to a place called gateway hotel it's a very beautiful property and i think it's managed by taj hotels and it has got a restaurant offering good cuisines we are specifically here for maharashtrian cuisine uh, the restaurant's name is panchratna and we'll be exploring non vegetarian maharashtrian thali here Now we already explored vegetarian Maharashtrian thali in our Pune food tour, so we thought, why not explore non-vegetarian Maharashtrian thali in our Nashik tour? Now, there's a slight disappointment. Uh, in mutton, they don't have any uh, specific local preparation, but in chicken, they have a very local Western Maharashtrian influenced preparation called kombi. Uh, kombi is chicken, so kombi curry. 
um, as a dish and we'll be exploring amti the dal fry of western maharashtra we'll be also exploring pitle pitle is again ground flour based um, dish so let's wait for our maharashtrian thali to arrive okay so uh, any meal has some condiments with it so in this meal we have this garlic peanut chutney i think this is the same which is put in uh, vada pav then they have this is ghee and then this is thecha thecha is a green chili chutney uh, which is people add for spice to their food so that's thecha So this is Khandeshi mutton. It's not local to Nashik, but comes from the region Khandesh region, which is uh, somewhere in the northern part of Maharashtra. This is Kumbhi cheese sukka. So it's a chicken variety, uh, chicken dish, which made in this area. This is batata chi bhaji. Uh, it's a potato uh, dish. Then this is petla. This is very local, authentic to uh, Nashik region, Western Maharashtra region. So this is made. Petla is made from gram flour. and this is dal amti it's a mixed dal again made in maharashtra flavor and this is highly this thali called amras we'll taste this and definitely share our feedback this is curd uh, this is rice um, and here chapati Uh, this is jowar bhakri i think uh, millet based um, a chapati made out of millet flour and this is normal chapati so we'll start the tasting with jowar bhakri and dal amti it's a sweet dal That's why we have thecha with us, which is green chili chutney, to add some spice to it. Next, we'll taste with jowar bhakri. We'll taste petla. You can call it a comfort food for Maharashtrians. It's a very soothing gram flour. taste in this a little raw flavor to it and it's very unique in that sense next we'll be tasting kombri sukke so kombri is basically chicken in maharashtra and sukke is when it's the masala is less thin it's on the thick side then it's called sukke so again we will try that with jowar bhakri now jowar bhakri has its own overpowering taste so maybe we should try with normal chapati also 
Kavit Chapati. It was then you were not able to understand what's the exact flavor of this. So this we are having with wheat chapati. So with normal chapati, now we'll try pitla again. Pitla has a flavor similar to what we call uh, what we eat kadi pakoda in North India, but uh, or in Rajasthan Marwa region, but it's not exactly like kadi. It's a little thicker and has more over overpowering taste of gram flour. Next, we'll be trying uh, mutton khandeshi. So mutton is well cooked. It's very soft. It has got aroma of very unique spices to that region with a burnt masala. So it's very unique in that sense. Next we'll be trying Forni Cha Bhat. Now Bhat is rice. Forni means tempering. So basically this rice is tempered with common seeds, mustard seeds, and garlic. This is Porni Chabhat. The rice grain is very long and the tempering using mustard seeds gives this rice a very distinct flavor. Next we'll be trying Batata Bhaji with Poli or Chapati. lot of mustard seeds used in tempering the boiled potato that's batata tea batata cheap bhaji and in the end we'll be having amrakhan this is amrakhan if you know shrikhan uh, it's a dessert very famous in maharashtra amrakhan is a evolved version of shrikhan where they use mangoes to flavor the Shrikhand. And that's where the name Amrakhand came. Am means mango. And Amrakhand is mango flavored Shrikhand. So we'll be trying this. Very good taste of Alfonso mango you get in this. Uh, if you come, especially in the mango season, uh, you get original Alfonso mango uh, flavored Amrakhan. Else it could be a stored pulp or something. So very delicious. Uh, these days you find packed versions of Amrakhan and Shrikhand also. So anywhere in Maharashtra you can find Amrakhan and Shrikhand. So in this restaurant, Pancharatna, they have made this on their own. It's very tasty. Uh, cheers. Amazing. I hope you enjoyed Nashik food. I hope you enjoyed the exquisite experiences of Nashik. I hope you enjoyed the different delicacies, the values, the beauty of Nashik food. So we are on our way back. We are going back to Mumbai and we have stopped on the way between. Uh, we are in Western Ghats and there's a beautiful scenic lake inside these Western Ghats. And if you are a fan of scenic beauty, then definitely you should visit Western Ghats, especially in the monsoon. So this is it from our Nashik food tour. I hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed watching different 
facets of Nashik food. I hope you will come again to watch our videos again. Till then, see you in our next video, in our next food tour. Please do subscribe before you go. So do subscribe to Gourmet Mayang. This is Gourmet Mayang signing off.